A Colorado woman is now also accusing Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct. Deborah Ramirez, this is the second woman to come forward about events that happened more than 30 years ago. Her attorneys call her a woman of honor with personal strength. Hi, everyone. I'm Alan Janae Ramirez tells The New Yorker Kavanaugh exposed himself to her at a party in his first year at Yale University. Kavanaugh has denied the allegations, calling them a smear, plain and simple. Ramirez's allegations follow those of Christine Blasey Ford, who says Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her at a party in high school. Kavanaugh denies those allegations as well in a new letter he sent to lawmakers this morning. The Senate Judiciary Committee has set a hearing for Thursday to hear from from Kavanaugh and Ford, but there are growing protests at the offices of Republican senators. That includes Senator Susan Collins. The Republican from Maine is considered a key vote. Arturi Mason's covering Colorado first. She is outside the Denver offices of Senator Cory Gardner. And a previously planned, pro planned protest at those offices, Cory, have, kind of, have kind of taken on a new urgency here. Right, Alan. There were many more people out here before this, but they were chanting over and over again, vote no, vote no. And they wanted the right person to hear their voices this time. Senator Gardner has a vote on whether or not Kavanaugh should be confirmed to the Supreme Court. And as Coloradans, they say it's his job to listen. Deborah Ramirez says it happened at a drunken college party during their days at Yale. She told The New Yorker Kavanaugh exposed himself to her during a drinking game. He denied those allegations. Now, some of the women who were at today's protest are survivors of sexual assault. They say they've been showing up at Senator Gardner's office long before today, demanding he listen and take action by voting no. They say women's rights will be in jeopardy if Kavanaugh is elected to the Supreme Court. A friend of Ramirez says she's proud of her for coming forward. She just has a heart for helping people. So she's also an incredibly private person. And what that means is that for her to come forward, I know it's taken a lot from, from her and I know it's probably taking a toll. And that's one of the reasons that I decided to come out today and got her consent to be able to speak about what I know, know about her. Now, Senator Gardner's office says we just reached out to them that they were made aware of these accusations just last night and that they do support the Senate Judiciary's Committee, their effort in, in, in investigating these claims. We're live downtown. Tori Mason covering Colorado first. All right, Tori, thank you very much. For